Happy Death Day is the latest horror flick to come out of Blumhouse Productions, Jason Blum's productions house that brought us hits like Get Out and Split this year. This latest horror flick comes from Christopher B. Landon, who directed one of the Paranormal Activity films. Now, this is a film that has been in development for 10 years, where at one stage Megan Fox was attached and Michael Bay was going to produce it, but here we have it, it's here, it exists. Happy Death Day is a 90s slasher in every sense of the word, down to the scares, sex deprived college students, and a killer with a marketable mask. It's pure 90s Wiz Craven, but merged with a Groundhog Day spin to it, which does get a cheeky nod. The film is pretty straightforward. It follows a young college girl called Tree Goldman, what a name, played by newcomer Jessica Roth, who is the super self-centered hot girl you're probably used to in slasher films. She wakes up in a stranger's bed, this young guy, Carter, played by Israel Broussard, who she assumes was a one night stand, and then attempts to go about her day, showing up late for class, shrugging off people signing petitions, and many of the people she shares a sorority with. Unfortunately for her, the day ends up with her being murdered by someone wearing a mask of the college mascot. And from here, she winds up in a time loop, where she must uncover and defeat her killer to live another day. It's a high concept slasher that you think wouldn't work, but it's surprisingly pretty fun and entertaining. This is a PG-13 horror film though, so the kills are pretty tame, and only really show splashes of blood on knives or walls. But it's not the gore fests you'd expect from a Friday the 13th. So it may turn off the more hardcore horror audience, who expect to see hot teens get butchered up, but it'll probably bring in a younger audience for it. This doesn't however make the film any more scary. While some PG-13 horror films use the ratings to play on suspense rather than gore, Happy Death Day actually leans more into comedy more than horror, and that's kind of where the fun with the film is. Yes, you're watching dumb horror characters do dumb things, but the film knows this and knows what to do with them, allowing the bitchy hot girl to develop into someone actually worth liking. The lead, Jessica Roth, has okay comedic timing, but it's really the scenarios around her and events that take place that actually get more of the laughs, such as a montage of the character being killed repeatedly. This does lessen some of the horror aspects though. Early on the scares rely very heavily on sound, as if someone left that jump scare sound effect turned way up and forgot about it. After this, the scares become pretty tame and are more the character running away or fighting the killer. The main character is fine, she's what you'd expect of a slasher horror film, but at least we do get a bit of progression in her that breaks her out of just being that horror film stereotype. The film does actually play with the idea of who the killer could be, and where it ultimately ends up is pretty satisfying, but can be kind of obvious especially if you're accustomed to the Scream films. But again, that's what we like about these types of films. They are not high art. It's the type of movie you'd watch late at night as a teenager with your friends. And these slasher films have declined considerably post paranormal activity. So it is kind of nice to see a return to the slasher genre in a way that tries to turn the genre on its head for a fresher spin. It's nowhere near the best horror film of the year, but it is a damn fun time at the movies, especially with Halloween around the corner. Happy Death Day gets a 7 out of 10 from me. Guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did like this review, do remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below in the comments section. Have you seen Happy Death Day or are you planning to see the film? Do let me know in the comments section. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button with a little bell next to it which will remind you of when the Mono Report uploads new content and don't forget you can follow the Mono Report on Facebook and Twitter at the Mono Report. Thank you so much guys. Don't forget to stay right here for your Mono Fix. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.